Yo, what is going on ladies and gentlemen? It is Kevin with Optimized Essentials. And in today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you the three levels of self-discipline. Now, you wanna make sure you watch all of this because I share with you the secret of the no discipline discipline, okay? And that is the third level of discipline because in my journey, in my pursuit of self-mastery, personal development and trying to be the best version of myself, reach the highest potential, the highest, highest expression of who I am, undoubtedly you come into the concept of exerting self-control, exercising willpower, and ultimately developing self-discipline. Now, I've learned to see and observe that there's many different levels of self-discipline, but I've broken it down into three easy steps, okay? Or three easy levels to understand. The very first level of self-discipline is that sheer brute force. I'm going to will myself to do it, okay? That is the most common you know, concept or perception of self-discipline and willpower, exerting self-control, right? Getting yourself to do something, whether you feel like it or not, through sheer willpower, okay? That's the very first level of self-discipline. And then number two, which kind of blends and mixes in to number one is the self-discipline that is required of you because of responsibility. Meaning, let's say you have a job, let's say you have kids, let's say you are doing something that you are a leader of or in charge of, and that gives you a sense of responsibility, right? Even within this second level of responsible self-discipline, there's two different levels, which I'll show with, share with you really quick. So the first level of self-discipline of responsibility, it can come from an external source or an internal source, okay? An external source mean, meaning if I'm at a job and I am required to perform a certain activity, I need to clean, I need to treat customers a certain way, there is a sense of external responsibility to my job and also there's an internal responsibility. Maybe the external is a little bit stronger because I'm in an environment that demands that I behave and act a certain way. So here's where it gets kind of, kind of eh, cause let's say you're a student and you hate school or you're in a job that you hate, even though this will automatically allow you to exercise your self-discipline in a way, if you do not like this job, if you do not like school, if you don't like sitting in class, right? You're just sitting on your ass all day, your back hurts and the teacher just too, is teaching stupid stuff, has things that has no application to your life, doesn't teach you how to make money, doesn't teach you how to manage your mental emotional state, doesn't teach you how to manage your health, and you're just sick and tired of learning absolute BS in school, then exerting this type of self-discipline is gonna be a lot harder, okay, right? I'm sure you guys can all relate, going to school or going to a to job that you hate, same thing, same thing applies. You'll do a shitty job, you'll, your discipline will still be there, but you'll do a shitty job. Now on the flip side, let's say this responsibility is a higher level of responsibility. Instead of it being a job that you don't like, let's say you're doing a presentation at the job and it's something you do enjoy, right? You're at a job you don't exactly like, but you're doing a presentation or you're doing a, you know, a, an activity, a volunteer job or volunteer work within your, your job that piques your interest, right? And you're in charge of this. You're in charge of presenting the most powerful presentation that you can come, with, come up with, the most captivating way you can present your organization, and it's demanding of yourself the highest aspect, the highest version of yourself, okay? That is a different level of responsibility. So within level two self-discipline, you have one lower level of responsibility and two higher level of responsibility. With school, same thing. Let's say you're doing a re school report or you're doing a project, a presentation, and you need to present something that requires you to express your knowledge, express your creativity, and that lights you up and you have no problem doing it. That is level two discipline at the higher responsibility level. And I say this because if you want to exert discipline in the most easy, effortless, nonchalant, or non-resistant way, the idea is you want to find something that gives you high levels of responsibility, meaning it's something that calls out to your higher self. You're less likely to drink or get hammered or do drugs or do something stupid, something unconscious, 
before you are presenting. If you're being a keynote speaker at a large workshop or a large event, what is the likelihood of you doing something stupid beforehand? Less likely. You might not gorge on that pizza, eat a bucket of ice cream. You might not do what you know you should be doing simply because you're held to a higher level of responsibility. So that is, I would say, level 2.5, okay? But within level two, there's lower responsibility and higher responsibility. And as we move towards higher responsibility, now we get into level three, okay? Level three uh, self-discipline is a combination of higher responsibility, which is almost an internal sense of responsibility and external, and it combines this with what I call the highest form, highest expression of self-discipline, and that is love, Passion, connection, spirituality, growth, contribution. I mashed that all into one, basically meaning the highest form of self-discipline and the easiest way to discipline yourself is to find a love and a passion to give yourself towards. And if you haven't noticed, my love and my passion is to teach. My love and my passion is to share knowledge that empowers, wisdom that transforms, and just basically tips and tricks and things that you can apply in your life to get that breakthrough to the next level so that we can improve humanity at a larger scale. So my passion, my love is to teach, is to serve, is to give people and to empower people with knowledge that could potentially change their lives, okay? So that's what lights me up. That's what I don't have to discipline myself to do. The same way a professional NBA player, a professional NFL player, professional MMA fighter, professional rapper, Whoever, whatever their love and their passion is, their craft that they are madly, deeply obsessed with and becoming the best with is something that requires no discipline, right? You need to find and develop a passion. And if you don't know what your purpose or your passion is, then your job is to find it. And if you don't know how to do that, then your job is to figure out, okay? But once you find your passion, your purpose, You'll know because this thing is a chore to other people, but it comes natural to you. Meaning some people can have a very difficult time speaking or teaching and they're better with analytics, you know, mathematics. They're better with, you know, theory work. That's their field. This is my field. You get what I'm saying? So you want to find a discipline, literally a craft that calls out to you that you have no problem executing on. Seeing that you're into a video like this tells me a part of you enjoys education. So you're naturally inclined to educate or to learn because that is something that you just gravitate towards, right? We like to learn what applies to our life. So an aspect of no discipline discipline is educating yourself. So it's about finding the things that you naturally gravitate towards and then keep on exploring those interests, trying different things out until you find a path that intertwines with your gifts, your natural talents, and then developing it so much that you just become passionate about it, that you just love doing what you do because you get good results, you get paid for it, it's what the world needs, and you know, it's, it's what you just get compensated for and you just love it, right? That's Ikigai, that's the Ikigai model. I made a video on it, the Japanese secret to higher levels of fulfillment and more happiness in life. But at the end of the day, those are the three level guys. Number one, sheer brute force. Number two, two different kinds, lower and higher responsibility. And then number three, the ultimate form of self-discipline, the no discipline discipline is finding your love and your passion so that you can give yourself to it, right? It's an art form. It's something you just love doing, right? The painter doesn't say, oh, I have to paint. No, he gets, he says, I get to paint. I want to paint. I want to paint the most beautiful, loving expression of life that I can. And that's it, guys. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up, hit subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.